What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. What is up everybody? Happy, happy Saturday. If it's not Saturday for you, happy whatever day it is to you. It's weekend, baby. Yeah, yeah. It's fun time Saturday. You know what that means? I don't either. It's cool. No, we uh we got some selling to do. So I got notified saying we had a great price for soybeans at LPS Grains. Now, LPS Grains, I think, is where we're pretty much selling everything all the time. Yep, that's exactly where it is. Right up at the top end of the map. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little trek around. Today is all about making money. What can we do to make the most amount of money possible by the end of this video? So, we're going to go through. If we have things to harvest, we'll harvest. But we are going to try and sell every single bit of goods that we have to sell. First on the list, soybeans. 58,700 liters. This is at uh, about $2,500 per thousand liters. Tell you what, we're going we're gonna to take a nice, uh, we're going to take a roundabout way to get there. Ooh, smokes cornfields coming along. Might be doing something with that very soon. Very, very soon. Let's have some fun today, guys. One hundred and forty-two thousand dollars. We're doll hair. See so either way, either way. We can go either way with it. Yeah, yeah. That is good money. Very, very good money. Don't drive too deeply in the water. Do not worry. Do not hesitate. Well, we we might. Um, I hope not. It might happen. Who knows? So we've got that done. Next is well it's we gotta sell some wow yes that was awesome yo we just got some major air we need to sell some stiff i keep saying like oh we need to sell we need to sell we need to sell we need to sell we do we do need to sell uh i have some corn planters and um i think a few other little odds and ends around the farm that we're just not using anymore and I don't see a reason to keep because we've gotten larger equipment, but we haven't sold our small equipment yet. And so we need to start getting rid of some of those little stuff that's just hanging around. Let's take a look here. I'm just going to pull this right here. There we go. Anything over here. So we got this tipper. I, we really don't need the tipper. And we've got this. That can go, definitely. We don't need it at all. Let's see, the sprayers. We can get rid of the sprayers. We can get rid of this because we're not going to use the sprayers for anything. Yeah, we can get rid of all that. Ah, keeping those. Cultivator, we can get rid of that. So that should give us a pretty penny. Should we keep this? I don't, I don't know if we should keep that or not. I'm, I'm kind of still on the fence about keeping it or selling it thought about maybe trying to get rid of this truck and buying some more stuff like that let's take a look let's go to our garage first and foremost and let's find the things that we know we don't need so this crampy right here i know we don't need that uh we could probably get rid of the all-rounder but i'm gonna keep it for now uh, you know, Scorpion King, I don't think we need it anymore. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to keep that, all those. These are all good. Bee houses. Eh, I'm going to keep these just for gets and shiggles. This, this we can get rid of. We can get rid of these. 
Yes. Keep getting rid of stuff. Maestro, get out of there. Get out of here. Here we go. Let's get rid of that. That puts us up to 900,000 right now. That's pretty good. I think... <sighs> I've been going back and forth about this. But I think we are going to get different trucks. We got money now, so why not spend a little bit of it? So let's get rid of... Ooh. No, I'm going to keep that. But... I'm going to get rid. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Do we do it? Keep the aggro truck. Get rid of it. Keep it. Get rid of it. You know what? Let's get rid of it. And the trailer for it as well. Where is the semi truck trailer? There it is. Crampy big body. Bam. Okay. We're over a million dollars. But there's stuff that I want to buy. Let's get it. Good morning. It's the next day. Say hello to our new fleet of vehicles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get down here and check them out. First up, we have the Leonard Lintrack 90 four-wheel steering. Got duels on there. Very, very cool. Up next, we have the Valtra N-Series. This is actually taking the place of our telehandler. We got a really big bucket on the front. Oh, yeah, yeah. Up next, we have the Valtra. No, that's not correct. We're over here. Yes. <laughs> we have a T Series. Big old engine in here. Normal tires. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too fancy about that one. Then we have the S Series. We threw some wides on this one. And we have an S Series with duels on it as well. Next, we have three trucks. We have a smaller truck. We have the MAN 37403. You might know this one as the four wheel or the eight wheel version. And then we have two of the six wheeled semi truck versions, both with BSM tippers on there. And you might notice that we've got orange and green. That is right. Orange, green. Mr. Alien Jim, you know. That this is all for you, baby. You know this is all for you. We still have a few other things around. Uh, let's bump around. We still have our New Holland T9. We still have both of our CR1090s. And we still have our FR850. So we still have all of that. But I've decided to kind of branch out and get some more stuff. Yes. And, of course, we've got a planter over there. That you'll know why and in a little while. Wow, I'm already stuck. Goodness gracious. So what we need to do now <clears throat> is we need to start selling wheat. Wheat's a good price at cargo ship right now. So I want to start getting stuff out there. All of the wheat that we have, I believe, at least most of it, is out at Mr. Silly P Farm. So we're going to have to head out there. I'm going to attempt a triple dump. I don't know how well it's going to work. I don't know how anything, really. All I know is that I'm super pumped and super hyped to have brand new equipment on Spectacle Island. I don't know if you guys were getting tired of seeing all the blue and the red everywhere, but you know what? We now have an appropriate color for an appropriate map. Beautiful. Uh, we did throw wide tires on these as well. All of these semi-trucks have wide tires. It just, it looks perfect. It really does. So, yeah, yeah. Good things is happening on Spectacle Island. Good things always have to happen on Spectacle Island. Also, we have two windmills as well. Yeah, that's right. We got two windmills. This should be, uh... You might be able to see them way off in the distance whenever we get up here. We might. I don't know if you will be able to or not. Yep, way, way out there off to the right. Uh, I'll put it right below the timestamp. You can see them way, way out there in the distance. Wow, I can't believe I can't believe the draw distance on PlayStation 4 Pro is that, that long. Oh my goodness gracious. So we're going to try and do this. And then I 
think what I'm going to try and do is sell off the seaweed. 283. Okay, so there is some at the other farms. What we'll do is we'll actually pick some of that up. There we go. And then literally just jump over here, grab this truck, and take it over there. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yo, we about to get a triple dump going on on the cargo ship right now. Let's do it. Oh, crap. I can't drive. No, come back. We're good. We've got everybody waiting on us, so let's not disappoint. We'll let you know. I believe tomorrow we're going to have a special guest joining us on screen. I can't tell you who it is yet, but I will tell you this is one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, he doesn't do any videos, he does live streams. He is a hoot, an absolute hoot. And likely you'll hear the beat button a couple times. That's all I'm going to say. But he is a very good friend of mine absolutely hilarious and i think you are all going to really really enjoy the video tomorrow so make sure you stay tuned for that of course these videos coming out every morning so gosh 7 p or 7 a.m eastern time that's noon in the uk and that is i believe 4 a.m on the west coast i think i think it's 4 a.m on the west coast tell you what this thing is heavy that's right, honk honk, we are here. We are here. We already got a double dump set up. About to hit up a triple dump, what's this? Wow. So we gotta practice, practice for our triple dump here. I'm gonna make a little bit of moolah, baby. About right there, that looks good. Okay, so I should be able to hop out, bam, bam, bam. Go and go and go. So, let's do it. Bam, hop out, bam, hop out, bam. Triple dump? Are oh, we getting a triple dump? <gasps> money, 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 money. Yeah, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. That's right. That's right. Triple dump. What you know about that? Whoa! What was going on with that? That's too much. My goodness. One hundred and ninety-four thousand dollars. Yes. How much did we tank the price? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we tanked the heck out of it. Oh my goodness. Still the highest price we're getting so far. What else do we have? We could sell corn. Not a very good price for corn. And not a very good price for barley as well. Kind of surprising there. Um, you know what we could do? Uh, we could go ahead and start getting corn planted. Uh, there is one field that's kind of messed up a little bit. And some, some things were happening with it. So why don't we... Actually, you know what? We could probably just leave this here. Let's bump around. Where is the duels? Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Now, I had a bit of an issue with corn planter. I took it. I'm actually going to hit this, see if I can get it to spin around. Yes. I can't believe that worked. Uh, I was on field G1 with the T8, and I hired a worker, and the worker drove off the cliff. I didn't get a picture of it. I'm sorry. I should have. Uh, but yeah, the, the helper just drove right off the cliff. And I was like, uh, excuse me? You don't get to do that? Uh-uh. So I'm going to have to go and actually hit a couple headlands and, and babysit this a little bit. Uh, that may have been one of the reasons why I wanted to get new tractors. Uh, nothing. I'm kind of concerned about this tractor pulling this cedar it's it's a 400 horsepower tractor we should be fine but it it's been showing some weakness getting up and down hills so hopefully we have no problems whatsoever if we do you about to see it and if not well then it won't even matter We 
made it all right. Yeah, we made it just fine. Corn is growing good. But we got to get the rest of this planted in. I don't know if I have crop destruction turned on or not. I should, but I'm not actually positive about it or not. So, that's okay. Because it doesn't really matter. At least not right now. Let's open this up. And we are going to get planting. Now this should destroy... Yep! Crop destruction is on. So I am destroying my crops. Let's turn that on. Let's drop it down. Pull it forward. There we go. Now hopefully this kind of babysits this enough to where we won't have any issues. And be honest with you, this tractor's pulling just fine. I'm not sure what I was worried about. I don't know if I was just worried about the way it was driving or maybe I'd gotten used to driving 435 horsepower tractors and I dropped down to 400 or something. I don't know. Regardless, this tractor is doing just fine. Absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. So, here we go, hit that. Awesome. Jump on the line. Okay, I believe you. Yep, speedy time. Let's do it, baby. While we get everything taken care of on the cow farm, it is, well, cow farm. <laughs> it is feeding time over here. Water is going. Is water full? Water is full. Okay, so that's just filling up. We can stop that. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like straw needs to be done, and all this is looking good. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna jump out of here. And we're gonna grab this truck right here. We're gonna take this back to the main farm. I think the other two semis will go back to Silly Pea Farm. This will be the straw. Oh yeah. I'm trying something new today with the speedies. Instead of doing one long speedy, just trying to do some intermittent kind of boop little stuff here and there. I'm not trying to throw it down too hard. I'm not trying to do a whole minute or you know minute and a half speedy like I normally do. It's just kind of hey. We've got a good place for a speedy. I'm gonna throw it in there. Uh, taking a little, little, little run from uh, our good buddy Clutch Simulations. Uh, he is fantastic. I do have a link in the description to his channel. He's doing some. Oh, boy, he's blocked by an object. Oh boy, do I want to know? Oh come on! Jeez, get out of there! Quit playing on the rocks. <coughs> Goodness gracious. You see what I have to deal with? You see what I have to deal with? The idiocracy that is the stupa stupa idiot. Granted, I did make the uh, field a lot larger than, than it should have been done. Alien Jim always does a fantastic job making sure the workers can do everything that they need to do perfectly. And then DJ comes in and screws it up. It's kind of how it is. Uh, I'm not really a map tester as much as I am a worker breaker. DJ the worker breaker. Go ham, baby. Go ham. And straw for the baby piggies. Here we go. We Nope, 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 nope. Yes. I don't think this needs to be full. Uh, was that 11,000? So we could probably put like 15 to 20 in here and it would more than do it. Say, uh, we'll just say about right there. I think that'll do. And let's swing this round, because I know we can reach it. Right there. Oh yeah. Straw is filling back up. Should hit. Yep, there it is. Perfect. The perfect amount of straw. Every time. Mainly because it makes us stop. And 
dump the rest of this in. Nice. We are back to normal. Perfect. Looks like the food is still going. Probably not for too much longer, though. Can't imagine that they need much more food. Goodness gracious. Little piggies can eat, man. Little piggies can eat. They are, indeed, little baby piggies. Head out of here. Ooh, a little glitchy. I got just, I just got too much stuff going on. Tell you one thing though, uh, we need, I say need, um, we gotta sell some pigs because it's kind of the whole purpose of doing pigs is to sell them, to make money and sell them. So here's what I think we're gonna do. I want to get a animal trailer because we've got enough money. See, is I don't know how many pigs we can fit in here. I think we can fit what? So 20 cows, something like that. So if we fit 20 cows, we should be able to fit quite a few pigs in there. Just not sure. I know there's another mod out. I may try and go get that. I don't think I have it installed. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get that mod. I think we're gonna get some pigs. We're gonna try and sell these things. All right, little piggies, your time is up. I'm gonna take you home. I'm kidding. I'm gonna sell you. This is what I'm gonna do. All right, here we go. Pull around. Hopefully this truck will handle us just fine. Seems like it should. About right there. Good. Yeah. And let's load up. I don't know how. Okay, so we can load up 38. So that's how many we will load up. Confirm? Yes. Hello, little piggies. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Ugh. You can see his face through his butt. <laughs> You can see his butt through his face. Hey. Oh, that's weird. What am I doing? What is going on? So we're going to take these little bad boy, bad boys. And we're going to get them. Uh, well, we're going to get them sold. Uh, we're going to take them through the dangerous pass. And the mountain pass. Where the piggies have never gone before. Through their body holes and their faces. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what's wrong with me anymore. It's, it's just probably a good combination of just about everything, I think, as well. Oh, no, 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 no. We're good. A little combination of everything is what's wrong with me, I think, at this point. Uh, should I thought about getting another cow and taking it up to the bear, but I don't know if that's going to be a thing today or not. Usually those things can hold off a bear for about a week. Hopefully, that's the way this is as well. Never know. Had, uh, it seemed like the reaction to me feeding a cow to the bear was quite hilarious yesterday. So I hope that you guys got a kick out of that, definitely. And now, if you don't know, the way you do animal sales on this map are the same way you do purchasing vehicles or anything like that. You're gonna do all that from the ship. The ship is your main hub on here. It's kinda of like if you've ever played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, when you get to the second island, everything is done via the ship. So, it's the same way here. Let's do a Grand Theft Auto reference for Farming Simulator? What is wrong with me? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm not. That was a, oh gosh. Come on, little babies. Yeah, yeah, honk, honk. All right, so there's a white kind of cage thing right here. Yeah, that right there. That is where we want to back this up to. Treat them like a velociraptor. I did two velociraptor references in two videos. That's all right. When was the last time you did that? Here we go. And right there. And we want to sell them. How much money are we going to get for all 38 of these? We're actually getting some good money. Wow. Holy cow. Uh, Confirm 68 grand. That's awesome. Helper C has completed their task. Why do I not believe that? Oh. Oh, they actually have. Mmm. I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe it at all. I know that up there is done. That's all finished because I did that. I bet you this worker missed some spots down here. Let's go take a look at you. I don't trust you, you Veltra. Yes, you. 
don't trust you. Cinematic jump out. Bizarre. Like I said, we're just having fun today, man. I tell you what. We need to double check and see. Uh, we should be able to start selling stuff again. Prices should be good since I've jumped in. Here we go. Let's turn that on. Yep, little spot right here. Not much, not much, just enough. All right, stay close, stay close. Ah, I did miss a little spot. It's okay, it's my fault. Bam. Perfect, turn it off. Fold it up. Use and done, baby. You and done. All right, let's take this up to Mr. Silly P Farm. We're going to put away the tractor and the implement. We're going to take the planter and put both of them away at Mr. Silly P Farm. We're going to head back. We're going to load up the semis. Maybe do one or two more sales, depending on how much time we've got left. Sell number one. We are heading to Spectre Hector. I love that name. Absolutely love that name. Jim, that was hilarious. All right. Swing them around here. We got corn. This is all the corn that we have right now, currently. And we're going to sell it all. We're going to head over here. We're getting really good price for it. The price is, well, I'll show you. Actually, I'll show you when we get down here. Take a right. This uh, kind of hides back here. Not a lot of people know that there's a sell point right here. But there is. There we go. Price that we're getting for corn here, $1,234. Let's dump it. How much money are we going to get? I know we've been spending a lot today. Said today was going to be all about making money. And we've been spending a lot of it. But you know what? We've got a new fleet. We've got a brand new tractors, brand new trailers, brand new everything. Just about... $78,000. Very cool. Very cool. Let's head back. Um, let's see. What else do we have left that's worth anything? We've got a lot of barley. And we've got wheat still. Wheat's going to be our... Wheat's kind of our thing. Cargo ship right now. Still $1,000. You know, I don't want to have to go back to cargo ship. But we might. Just because of how much money we can get over there right now. That's a very, very high price for wheat. I think we're going to do it. Yep. We're going to do it. I'm going to take this, and we're going to take the eight-wheeled truck. We're going to fill up with wheat. We're going to get us a nice quick sale, quick cash. A lot of that money right over there at the cargo ship. We have now exhausted all of our wheat. Every bit of it is now going to be sold. We will not have any more wheat. Every bit of it that we did with the All-Star stream last weekend will be gone. Also, I got like 170 eggs to sell. What? I didn't even know I had that many. So we're going to sell those two right before we leave. Because we are coming up close to the end of the video. Now's a good time. If you have not already, make sure you smash that like button. Smash it. Or uh, as FSC would say, a pound that like button. Uh, or as Smoke would say, pound it. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to see more like this. If you didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't subscribe because... I do Farming Simulator, and if you don't like Farming Simulator, I'm not even sure why you're still here 30 minutes later. But for those of you that are enjoying it, and you have not uh, you have not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Or as Smoke would say, sub it. <laughs> All right, right there, hop out, dump, dump. Good old fashioned double dump right there. Good stuff going on, man. Let's get another one with the, the light turned on. Yeah! Got a good sell there. And close here. Very close. Oh, boogity, boogity, boogity. $115,000. Let's 
What a treat. Guys, we started this video, some New Holland owners, not a whole lot of money. Granted, we were not poor, but we did not have a whole lot of money. We are now very wealthy and, well, we got new tractors. Yes, we do. Let's get these eggs sold. What are we getting? 1700 bucks. I'll take that. Well, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. You know how you please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Saturday. We will see you later. Peace.